Compassion and humility, these were the hallmarks of the great enlightened master of Sikhism, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Born in 1469 in today's Punjab, Guru Nanak Dev Ji from an early age sought a deeper connection with the Divine. As a young man, he traveled many thousands of kilometers, mostly on foot, to visit holy places like Mecca and Mount Kailash. At the same time, he shared the unifying concept of one supreme being for all religions. His teachings were simple. Find God within, do honest work, meditate and share with others. Guru Nanak Dev Ji later took up organic farming with harvests that were shared through a free vegetarian community kitchen. The peaceful path of Sikhism has appealed to spiritual seekers around the world. In global communities, many Sikh practitioners continue the noble spiritual lineage of vegetarianism. Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken on more than one occasion of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji's wisdom. In a talk given on February 26, 2007 in Sihu, Taiwan, Formosa, she affirmed his spiritual attainment and revealed the mission of his travels. He went to Mecca as a Sikh. A Sikh master, a founder of a great religion, went to Mecca to pay homage to a Muslim's holy shrine. Why does he do that? He's enlightened. Ah, he's enlightened. So, for this we know Guru Nanak definitely is enlightened. Because the first thing uh, an enlightened person gets rid of is discrimination, racism, thinking uh, who is better than whom. Yeah, therefore, this is proof that Guru Nanak is enlightened. And anyone who has no discrimination like that, yeah, between religion, between race, between creeks, between nations, between colors of the skin, between professions, yeah, between uh, education, these are the enlightened people. We now would like to share with you an excerpt of the magnanimous teachings of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji from the sacred scriptures known as the Holy Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Ang 32 Sri Rag, Third Mill Blessed is the mother who gave birth. Blessed and respected is the father of one who serves the true Guru and finds peace. His arrogant pride is banished from within. Standing at the Lord's door, the humble saints serve Him. They find the treasure of excellence. O oh my mind, become Gurumuk, God consciousness being, and meditate on the Lord. The word of the Guru's Shabad abides within the mind, and the body and mind become pure. By His grace, He has come into my home. He Himself has come to meet me. Singing His praises through the Shabads of the Guru, we are dyed in His color with intuitive ease. Becoming truthful, we merge with the True One, and blended with Him. We shall never be separated again. Whatever is to be done, the Lord is doing. No one else can do anything. Those separated from Him for so long are reunited with him once again by the true Guru, who takes them into his own account. He himself assigns all to their task. Nothing else can be done. One whose mind and body are imbued with the Lord's love gives up egotism and corruption. Day and night, the name of the one Lord, the fearless and formless one, dwells within the heart. O Nana. He blends us with Himself through the perfect, infinite word of His Shabad. Sri Rag, Third Mill The Lord of the universe is the treasure of excellence. His limits cannot be found. He is not obtained by mouthing mere words, but by rooting out ego from within. Ang 33 
Meeting the true Guru, one is permeated forever with the fear of God, who himself comes to dwell within the mind. O siblings of destiny, one who becomes Guru Muk, God consciousness being, and understands this is very rare. To act without understanding is to lose the treasure of this human life. Those who have tasted it enjoy its flavor without tasting it. They wander in doubt, lost and deceived. The true name is the ambrosial nectar. No one can describe it. Drinking it in, one becomes honorable, absorbed in the perfect word of the Shabbat. He himself gives, and then we receive. Nothing else can be done. The gift is in the hands of the great giver. At the Guru's door, in the Gurudwara, it is received. Whatever he does comes to pass, all act according to his will. The Nam, the name of the Lord, is abstinence, truthfulness, and self-restraint. Without the name, no one becomes pure. Through perfect good fortune, the Nam comes to abide within the mind. Through the Shabad, we merge into him. O Nanak, one who lives in intuitive peace and poise, imbued with the Lord's love, obtains the glorious praises of the Lord. Sri Rak, Third Mill You may torment your body with extremes of self-discipline, practice intensive meditation, and hang upside down, but your ego will not be eliminated from within. You may perform religious rituals and still never obtain the Nam, the name of the Lord. Through the word of the Guru Shabbat, remain dead while yet alive, and the name of the Lord shall come to dwell within the mind. Listen, O my mind, hurry to the protection of the Guru's sanctuary. By Guru's grace, you shall be saved. Through the word of the Guru Shabbat, you shall cross over the terrifying world ocean of poison. Everything under the influence of the three qualities shall perish. The love of duality is corrupting. The pundits, the religious scholars, read the scriptures, but they are trapped in the bondage of emotional attachment. In love with evil, they do not understand. Meeting the Guru, the bondage of the three qualities is cut away. And in the fourth state, the door of liberation is attained. Through the Guru, the path is found, and the darkness of emotional attachment is dispelled. If one dies through the Shabbat, then salvation is obtained, and one finds the door of liberation. By Guru's grace, one remains blended with the true name of the Creator. This mind is very powerful. We cannot escape it just by trying. In the love of duality, people suffer in pain condemned to terrible punishment. O Nanak, those who are attached to the Nam are saved. Through the Shabad, their ego is banished. Sri Rak, Third Mill By His grace, the Guru is found, and the name of the Lord is implanted within. Without the Guru, no one has obtained it. They waste away their lives in vain. The self-willed manmuks, egocentric persons, create karma, and in the court of the Lord, they receive their punishment. O oh mind, give up the love of duality. The Lord dwells within you. Serving the Guru, you shall find peace. When you love the truth, your words are true. They reflect the true word of the Shabbat. The name of the Lord dwells within the mind. Egotism and anger are wiped away. Meditating on the Nam with a pure mind, the door of liberation is found. Engrossed in egotism, the world perishes. It dies and is reborn. It continues coming and going in reincarnation. The self-willed Manmuk's egocentric persons do not recognize the Shabbat. They forfeit their honor and depart in disgrace. Serving the Guru, the name is obtained and one remains absorbed in the true Lord. Wholehearted viewers, 
Thank you for joining us on today's Words of Wisdom. 